Let's take a moment and imagine that everyone keeps on depending on others to resolve issues we have in this society. Like for example, if we have a lamppost not working, or there's a barrier on the street, or a puddle of mud that prevents people from passing by. Everyone just keeps on thinking, yeah, someone else called the municipality to resolve this. Would this issue actually be resolved, or would it just take longer? And imagine with me that every single person here depends on himself and embraces these problems as if they are his own. And imagine that every single person would help other people on daily basis and that would reflect on him in the future. Would these problems still be visible? Would these problems that everyone complains about still be lasting? What if the cleaning company in your country declares a strike and the Ministry of Municipality tells you that it will take one month for this issue to be resolved? What would your country look like by the end of that very same month? Horrible. Very dirty. It should be. If there is some problem with uh, this uh, concern, we have to solve immediately. We cannot wait for anything because country is our part of our uh, life. So we have to make it clean and we have to always keep it clean. Uh, full of garbage. <laughs> when you talk about cleaning, you mean uh, collecting the garbage and, and, and things like that? I think that would be a very bad situation, very unhealthy for the inhabitants, especially now with the, with the heat. So uh, I think it would be very important to have a discussion between the, the government and the citizens. Very dusty and uh, smelly and uh, more they make for the sickness for our country and the people also. I think it would depend on um, the people themselves. Um, it, it, it would take some people, some initiatives to um, look after their streets and houses and uh, clean it. So probably in some areas it would look um, okay, in some others uh, it would look clean if, if the people around it would care. Otherwise it would look horrible. What I will do, I, I will clean at least my place and throw uh, outside in the dustbin. This is what I will do at least for myself. And uh, same I should hope for the others, so it should be good, otherwise it will look really very bad. This is what is my, my opinion is here. After a month of disregarding and giving up on the country, obviously it will be a very miserable place to live in. There are certain things that we must change in ourselves, for example laziness. We mustn't depend on others, but start depending on ourselves to make the change. Everyone here has a job. I have a job, you have a job, everyone has a job. And if someone's not doing his job, why should you? I mean, if things get screwed up, it's his head, not yours. Because, <laughs> you know, the most important part to me <laughs> is me. There was a story that I read about a gardener uh, just beside the hospital. Uh, he used to go there every day and you know make the flowers and they usually look very very nice so a guy came once and he told him how about if I offered you a job to be my gardener so imagine what he replied he actually told him that he comes every day to make these flowers not to get money but to actually make the patients that are in the hospital to look outside and feel that this is an amazing view for them and it will make them feel better because one day he might be in their situation and he would like to see something nice. Being positive is another way of giving because a person that has the will to change without getting anything in return is the kind of person that we aspire and want to become. Because you know, many people in this life come and go, but the people that actually leave their footsteps behind and make people learn from them today, tomorrow and years to come are very, very few. The leader of the Indian Revolution, Mahatma Gandhi, you all know him obviously. It was said about him that once he hopped on a train. The train was already moving so he had to hop as fast as he can. And while he was doing that, he lost one of his pair of shoes. So losing one pair will make him having one pair on his feet as well. In that split second, he straightly thought about it and took, took his pair of shoe and threw it with the other one that already fell from the train. So as you can see, this positive way of thinking made him in that split second thinking that okay, I don't need this other pair now since I lost mine. So the person that's gonna find that pair of shoe on the street, why don't he 
gets benefits from the other as well. So in that split second, he thought about that and threw it. So that person can gain benefits of both pair of shoes. So this positive way of thinking can't be thought by any person unless he has initiative. So why don't we try to make these split second decisions of positive way of thinking and initiative in our lives. As you grow up, you always start hearing the story about Thomas Edison, Thomas Edison, what did he do, what did he achieve? But no one actually took a closer look about his achievement because Thomas Edison thought there weren't enough candles to light the world. So he thought, how about we do another thing? A thing that he could help people, and not just for his name, but to make a change in this world. Because as you can see, people in the past, scientists, other than scientists, they used to make so many sacrifices for themselves to change in the world. We rarely see this in our time now. People always have a borderline. They don't try to cross it. Because in the end, if you don't cross that borderline, no one will. I'm going to tell you now a short story from the Holy Quran. Uh, when Prophet Sulaiman, peace be upon him, went with his army to the Valley of Ants, and a little ant, an insignificant ant, saw them from far, far away, coming. So this ant could have basically just buried itself and gone down till the army goes away and the other ants would just die. However, this ant went and informed everyone It took the initiative to help other people and go tell them that that army is coming and you better hide yourself. And this story is very amazing because it shows that even an ant has an initiative to change people's lives and start helping. And the Holy Quran, God has complimented people in many, many ways. However, he gathered all these compliments in one description, which states that the people that take initiative and embrace helping others and making good deeds towards others. Also our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, stated that every single person that plants something that is beneficial for humans, animals and birds will get the deeds from God that he deserves. A person must look around himself. A person must look around his house, the streets, the schools, the public parks because you will obviously find something not right. And it's our responsibility to make this place more sensational and more comfortable for people. Because if you're not gonna make the change, who else will? Be the change you want to make in this world. Our society, every single member of it should change to the better. Because every person should have in mind that you want to be the change you want to see in society. Because if people just wait on society changing, I just keep on complaining every single day about society without even changing themselves towards it, towards the change they want to see, the change they always complain about. That's just called being dumb. And I'm sorry for that word, but it had to be said. Because a person should always keep on improving himself. And one of these things is initiative. Every single person should have initiative in life. Because if you don't try to be the first in everything and try to be the first in doing good towards others, maybe no one will do it eventually. So in order to have an amazing and inspiring society, let's all have initiative.